Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. Uh, we wanted to take this opportunity <clears throat> to talk a little bit about Saturday night, Saturday morning, what happened, and Mrs. Jefferson's death. But before Chief and City Manager speak, I wanted to say a few things to my city. We are all heartbroken today. Atiana was a beautiful, smart, amazing young woman, by all accounts, who was unjustly taken from her family. The entire city is in pain. As a mother, a grandmother, a sister, an aunt, I can't imagine anything worse, and I'm so sorry. On behalf of the entire city of Fort Worth, I'm sorry. To Atiana's family, it's unacceptable. There is nothing that could justify what happened on Saturday morning. Nothing. To Mr. James Smith, I know you're hurting today as well. You called police as we ask good neighbors to do. You were being that wonderful neighbor, the one that we all want next door to us, the type of person who does what's right in Fort Worth. Atiana's death has left you totally shaken and your sense of security and trust in law enforcement jeopardized. And I'm sorry. To Atiano's nephew, who witnessed the unspeakable loss, sorry doesn't cut it. The entire city needs to surround this young man with prayer, support, and anything that his family needs. Lastly, the images released showing the gun inside Miss Jefferson's home. The gun is irrelevant. She was in her own home, caring for an eight-year-old nephew. Atiana was a victim. She was taken from her family in circumstances that are truly unthinkable. I'm listening and hearing our community, my home. There's heartbreak, but healing and renewal of trust will come. It'll take a significant amount of work from all of us and it must be done day by day, a step at a time, action by action, and it won't stop until we have justice and closure for Atiana's family to rebuild a sense of trust for the community and with our police department. Mere words are not enough. We are taking immediate action. You will hear from the chief and city manager in a few moments, city leadership has set in place motions to bring a third party panel of national experts to review this department. City Manager Cook will have more specifics for you in a minute. I would say, act justly, love mercy, walk humbly. Those words from scriptures are short and poignant on a day like today. Our community is mourning and hurting. Everyone expects justice, no matter how you define justice. This council, this city, and this police department will live humbly and provide the justice. Justice is critical here. We know we cannot bring back this young woman who was taken all too soon. But this is a pivotal moment for a city that will and can come together and we will take actions swiftly and with transparency. Thank you all for caring. Let's wrap this family in love and prayers. Chief Krause.